what's the difference between a broker and his client? The broker says fuck you after he puts the phone down. You should laugh. It's a joke. What does MBA stand for? Master of Business Administration? Or mediocre but arrogant? That was also a joke. Kidding, right? In this hellhole, humor is the sugar that helps the medicine go down. Though this medicine euthanizes the patient rather than cure him. When we finished that goddamn business school, me, Chris, and some other folk we knew started out in this hellhole of investment bank. Well, long story short, five fucking years later, me and Chris are the only ones left. And I can't blame the boss for firing them. Half of the folk here think that some kind of goddamn math wizard or something fucking MBAs. Well, let me tell you this. Me and Chris have been writing these pitches for fucking ages now, and I know how it works. Convincing companies to merge with others and building giant structures. You create this illusion that you help people while in fact you're bending them over to fucking bad time. Night, Chris. Night, Roger. It wasn't always like this. When I was in business school, I dreamed about working in some idealistic sector, whatever that may be. Using the financial system as a staircase to the real world. But when you get involved big time, they won't let you leave easily. You have a trophy wife, a killing mortgage, and your kid goes to this high-class private school. You can't lose that. They've chained you up in some goddamn golden handcuffs. Where are those goddamn papers? Chris, did you take those files? Chris? Fucking hell. You haven't heard yet. Chris is gone. God damn it, Chris, you got kicked out. What did you do? Have you seen the pitch paperwork somewhere? Probably ended up in a box somewhere, I think. But you shouldn't worry, though. Things disappear all the time. Even when the little folk leave, you know. They usually show up somewhere, sometime. I'll just ask the big boss then. Maybe she knows. Roger, I didn't expect you here. Have a seat. So, what's it? Well, me and Chris, we were working on this pitch, you know. Any idea where the papers went after his leave? It's always a tragedy to see someone like Chris go. But Roger, you got to tame that little telltale heart of yours, boy. Or we're going to be in bad trouble. Get it? Ma'am. What happened to Chris, as far as you're concerned, Roger? Chris was our employee. Just a regular. Nothing special to us. Nothing important to you. The blade is up, you know. And we don't want to see any heads rolling. Do we, Roger? I don't understand, ma'am. Let me get this straight. If anyone asks, you don't know shit, right? Just write the damn pitch without them. And don't try to contact him in any way or anywhere. We wouldn't want your sweet little face under the knife, right? Good boy. I heard you were looking for me. Don't tell anything or anyone. Meet me at Hyde Park in half an hour. Damn it, Chris. What the hell did you get me into? I can't lose this goddamn job. My wife would kill me. Or worse, leave me. What the hell did you do to get your goddamn ass fired? <sighs> fired? I wasn't fired, boy. I fucking quit. In those five fucking years we've been working in that hellhole of an investment bank, I've learned one thing. 
That bloody system turns good people evil. Sucks your human side out of you like a goddamn vampire, you know. They can put their bonuses, their millions, and their scams up their goddamn asses. Damn, Chris. What the hell did you do with those goddamn files then? We were just about to screw this superannuation fund real bad, you know. I couldn't and I wouldn't ruin the old times of thousands of hard-working folk, right? You haven't even thought about this yet, have you, Roger? You know we weren't like this in business school at all, remember? We were dreaming about working in some idealistic sector, doing something good for our planet and using our brains for real fucking issues. We could still do that, Roger. I couldn't agree more with Chris. We had to leave that fucking hell hole. We had to unchain ourselves and do something fucking good with our lives. I didn't even care anymore about what my wife would do and where my kids would be schooled. I told my boss to say that she could fuck herself. I needed to do the right thing. However, when reality kicked in, it kicked in bad time. My wife was furious and threatened to leave. When the mortgage payments came in, I was basically bankrupt. We'd have no place to stay, no roof over our heads. She went to her parents and took our kids. I basically begged my boss to take me back. Now everything's back to normal. Nothing changed in this shithole. You can't just break these goddamn golden handcuffs.